Good morning all of you. Dear children, today I am to speak about science. Science is not only there in our books or laboratories, but science is there all around. Science has been there with man since beginning even when he lived in caves. Science is all about observation, exploration and innovation. Even early man was also a great scientist. Now I am going to share something very interesting with you. We all live with many types of things in our day to day life, don't we? From soap to bread. Can you imagine all the type of things that we use daily? Can you? Have you ever wondered how all these things came into present form? Do you ever think how many processes have must been taken to come into this form? Imagine what people were do you doing to make all these things which are available to us. I'm sure you must be think uh, you must be thinking what I am to uh, try to say. So don't get confused and hold on. Now I take to you <clears throat> to a very interesting journey of man. Before I do this. It is very important for me to explain you all that what science actually is. So let us start with the word science itself. How did it come into use and what does it mean? The word science is derived from the Latin word scientia, meaning knowledge. Yes, think about science is what? Science is knowledge. Science is a quest for truth, a systematized body of knowledge, a way of life. Science has been a quest for ages. A perception of science has also changed over the years and new development have taken place. And older ones have become omitted. Simply, science is the reason why early man has changed into a civilized man today. Early man lived in cave where he used to hunt animals with sharp weapons created with stones and bones. Men used to eat surrounding plants and uh, eat flesh just like animals do today. Man was a keen observer and learned by observing nature. He saw that by rubbing the stones together, the sparks light and he learned to utilize it. Early man who observe and experiment his surrounding to obtain visits may be considered as a first scientist. The essence of being a scientist is to observe things critically and search for reason behind everything. They question, why is it like this? What not, what not like that? In this process, they collected all the necessary inf information and conducted experiment to verify the results. Early man, while wandering, observed seedling, flowers, fruits, and seeds. All these were part of his food. After observing the germinating seed, he learned to saw seed and raise crop. Man started observing, discovering and exploring different things in the surrounding. As an experienced crew, he developed a pool of scientific knowledge and gradually reached a higher civilized modern stage of today. So, this is how the early man can give rise a new world or uh, he uh, invented a lot many things. So, he considered as a first scientist. So, children, in the coming videos, we are going to discuss about how the science in everyday life or how we are connected with science in everyday life. So, here I conclude my video and... Uh, yes, of course, as I told you in the next video, we can try to learn something new. So that is all for today. Thank you and have a nice day.